World War III is on the tip of everyone's tongues. It's just not conspiracy theorists talking about global conflict. It is now your average Joe. It is coming up in your daily lives. It is being blasted across mainstream media. So not to add more fear to, you know, already people have anxiety over this, but, you know, Israel is about to go into Gaza and other countries are going to react. And I don't see how it de-escalates from here. And this has a very high chance of spreading to, you know, a regional war. So how can you protect yourself? First, you need to protect your person. And that is, you know, get a second passport, get a second residency. And this is why I've been concentrating, you know, on Latin America, because there's no regional conflict, no nuclear weapons. Europe's already at war. China's going to be expanding. And the United States could be a recipient of, you know, reciprocal attacks. And that's why I believe, you know, South America is going to be the place to be, to survive and thrive. Second, financially, you can protect yourself with Bitcoin, gold, and silver. If you are going to buy gold and silver, buy physical gold and silver, buying mining stocks and, and paper, you know, investments is a joke. You have no, you know, it's not really yours until you have physical. And even if you look at the COMEX, they can settle you out in dollars if they run out of gold. So if you're going to buy it, buy it physical. The, but, you know, gold has its limitations. You can't get on a plane and travel with your gold. You're going to be in a lot of trouble. But Bitcoin, you can go anywhere in the world, remember your seed phrase and have access to millions of dollars, you know, in wealth. So that's why I'm a big believer in Bitcoin because you don't know what place is going to be safe, what place is not. But with Bitcoin, you can just get on a flight the next day anywhere in the world and have, you know, money. And then if a global conflict does kick off, you know, countries and currencies are going to fail. There's going to be cyber attacks against financial systems and, you know, Bitcoin, you know, it's his first non-state money. You can't hack Bitcoin. You know, our banking system could be brought down. And, you know, most people aren't going to go trade in gold and silver. They need an electronic currency that they can integrate to apps. And that's going to be Bitcoin. Also, President Biden just came on and he said, you know, the United States has no problem funding a two-front war and that this is the greatest country in the world. The United States is already $33 trillion in debt. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. They are going to print a lot of money. They're talking about a hundred billion dollar package for these two countries to fight these wars. The inflation is really going to go to the next level in the United States. And, you know, people are already just walking out of stores with, you know, stealing stuff. Wait till people can't afford, you know, food and rent on their social security. The crime in the United States is going to go up and up. And I think we're going to have a lot of political disunity and, and social unrest. And this next election is just going to be, you know, wild. And I think you're going to see craziness and and people being attacked on, you know, this next election like you've, you've never seen before. So don't be part of the problem. Be part of the solution. And, you know, if you can get into this stuff, you're going to be head of, you know, 99% of all the other people who are just reactionary where they're going to wake up one day like, oh, my God. How do I get how do I get out of here? How do I get a residency? How do I get Bitcoin? And by that time, it's going to, you know, be too late. And, you know, all the warning signs are there. Like for me, you know, during COVID, a lot of the lines were crossed. And this is when I started on my journey getting residencies and, and going overseas. And, you know, if you're sitting on the sidelines still after looking at what's going on, you know, you're not going to make it because the time to move is now. And these countries in Latin America they know they're going to have a golden ticket when all these people start flooding in. They're not going to be charging four or $5,000 for residency. They're going to want a $400,000 real estate investment. They're going to want big money. So, you know, if you're a baller on a budget, now is the time to move on these residencies because they're only going to go up in price. Same thing that happened in Panama. It was $5,000 to get the permanent residency. Now it is a $400,000 real estate investment. So Paraguay is the last no-show residency where it's just a couple thousand dollars to get. You don't need to live in the country. You can remain living where you're living and maintain this residency. And you have a place that will have to accept you in a crisis and you can fly in on a moment's notice. Um, so these are some easy options you can, you know, you can act on now. So if you're interested in this, you know, follow me, the Bitcoin capitalist, check out my link in the bio. Um, a lot of you guys know me from TikTok. Uh, I've done very well on TikTok, approaching 7 million views. So I'm going to start making some more content for, you know, YouTube and um, Twitter. So, you know, like and subscribe. Adios.